even though we don't really need any accessories. I suppose you're feeling. <laughs> hey guys, so we are traveling. Oh, so nasty. <laughs> to Slovenia well we're going to Italy first and then Slovenia and then oh, what? Hey guys, what? Okay. So what's funny? How did the hipster Bernie's tongue? How did the hipster what? Bernie's tongue. He sipped his coffee before it was cool. Before it was cool? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> so today we're going to that spot on your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Today we are going to the airport. We are on our way now. Um, it's gonna be very exciting, and I can't wait to go. Yeah. <laughs> About to go in the airport, Slovenia. Okay, we just put our bags through, and now we are going into the not plane, but you know, the, the other section of the airport. Here. We have just said goodbye to the familia and now we are going to wait until 9.25 to board. Our first stop is Venice, we're going to stay there for one day and then um, we're going to go catch a bus from Venice to Slovenia which is like how many hours? Three hours. So, I can't believe I'm going guys. I've been like waiting for six months to like go and I've been like waiting and thinking about it. But at the same time I haven't because like getting a visa and all that stuff is super stressful so we never really thought we were going to come so that's the exciting part that it's actually happening. Yeah, like when we applied we were like oh, we're not going to go on exchange, no way. But now that we are here I'm like I think we're going to have an exchange. I just arrived to Venice after 30 hours being on the plane from Australia to Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi to Rome, Rome to Venice. I'm finally in Venice. We arrived here like around 4. Um, I'm so exhausted. Like, I'm... But I'm excited to eat pasta and pizza and like just go and explore. Even though we're here for one day, I'm still gonna explore. Good morning. I am in Ljubljana, Slovenia right now. It is like two degrees outside. Um, I arrived last night, but I literally just fell asleep because I was so tired. Um, but yeah, now I'm fully awake and I'm actually going to explore the city. Um, yeah, and we're going to get some breakfast and then just go and explore and see what Ljubljana is all about. Okay, so we are in the Slovenian house. Um, a guy that we walked past told us that this was the place to eat, that he even comes here a lot to eat. Um, what I'm having is like scrambled eggs with pig fat and um, they gave me this tea and it's so cute. It's got like the actual herbal herbs in there so that's pretty cool. And then um, so I've got just three eggs and like bacon kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, this is so good guys. If you ever come to Slovenia or Ljubljana, this is a place to be. Okay, well I'm going to go eat my food because I'm hungry. Yeah. So today is day number two in Ljubljana. We are not going to be doing too much this week because we are searching for a house. 
So yeah, there's not much touristy things going to be happening because it's just going to be looking at houses and seeing which ones we like and all of that. So yeah, not too much fun things are going to be happening. But we will try to get to like the castle in Ljubljana, still walk around the old town a bit more because we only did a little bit yesterday of that. Um, eat in different restaurants. So you'll be seeing all of those fun things while, you know, visiting the city. Again, um, we went for a little walk all the way to BTC City, the shopping center. But when we got there, um, it was closed because someone didn't look at the times, and we had to walk 30 minutes there. And then we got the Subway, and then we came back. Everything's so cheap here. We went to Subway. We got two meals, two, and not even like the cheap ones, like the expensive ones. And it was eight euros. What's that, Australian? Twelve dollars for two. In Australia it's like twelve for one, hey. Twelve bucks for a sub. Yeah. Twelve dollars for We got two subways, two drinks, two cookies. Mm-hmm. How good is that? And like here they have this thing for students. The government like pays like half of the food that you buy. So if you have like a student card, you can go to like any restaurant. Well not any, I think just some restaurants that do it, that offer that. And yeah, pretty much you pay for the food and then the government pays half of that. They subsidise the restaurant. Yeah, they, they subsidise. So yeah, they subsidise the restaurant. So that's pretty cool that the government does that here. So we're going to be living a bowling life here. Because, yeah, we're, uh, renting is super cheap. It's like we're finding apartments for like 400, 500, max 600 we're going to spend a month. In Australia, it's like... Cheapest is like th two, three hundred a week. So that's so crazy. Everything's so cheap here. So far, we we had like the biggest breakfast yesterday for five dollars each. It was like scrambled eggs with bacon, and Zach had like pork fat. Doesn't sound very great, but pork fat with the eggs. All of that was eleven dollars plus coffee and tea. Like what? So. We're going to be living a very happy life. I'm going to be eating a lot. So if you see me gain a lot of weight, I'm so but it's happening. Whoever, if anyone's thinking of doing exchange in Slovenia, it's pretty cool. At the first day, I was kind of scared of this place. Just because when we arrived, it was like raining. And then we got a taxi. We were going to get into a taxi. And then they were like, no, you can't get in the No, they didn't speak English. They only spoke Slovenian. So it was really hard to communicate. And he was yelling at us. And he was like, no, you can't come into the taxi because your bag's too big. Because Zach brought a really big bag with his bike in it. Um, so, yeah, we couldn't get into the taxi. And then we had to call another taxi to bring a big, like, bigger taxi that could fit the bag. Um... And then he was like yelling at us, he was like, put your seatbelt on, put your seatbelt on. And we were like looking at each other like, oh, we have our seatbelt on. And then he like looked at his and he didn't have his. And then he realized and he like, he looked so dumb. So I think he was even yelling at us more. And we were just freaking out. We were like, oh my God, I hope no one, everyone in Slovenia is not like this. Super like strict and stuff and just yelling. And we we're like, yeah, freaking out. And then the next day I was kind of like, I don't want to leave the apartment. But then I finally did. And, um, no, I love it here so much. Everyone so far, except for the ca taxi driver, except for the taxi driver, everyone's been super, super nice. Um, everyone speaks English here, which is so good. I think it was just that one guy that didn't know. He was a bit older, so I think older people in Slovenia might not know English as much. So, um, so yeah, no, everyone else has been super friendly. The city's so beautiful.